What up, everyone? Welcome to Tuck Notes, beginner stock talk. Uh, I'm Tucker, and uh, I'm going to go over Tesla stock today. Um, and what to expect tomorrow, and and some resistance and support levels that we could be approaching towards. So, um, pretty cool. Tesla went up from 204 to uh, 222. Uh, 223 it was a, it touched and it closed at 222 um reasons being why um i don't know it could have been a gas fart there's been so much it's been just getting pushed down so much uh it had it's bound to give once in a while um some type of leak so um we ha do have earnings coming up on uh, this is quarter three earnings and um we bit we i talked about tesla is gonna possibly go kind of sideways and possibly test between 205 to 250 um things that we still have on deck on table are october 28th is the twitter deal that's the deadline i can't wait for that to be over what is it, the biggest distractor? Uh, and uh, basically, we have, uh, there's no um, big news this week other than big tech earnings being released. Tomorrow, Netflix will be released, and that could um, greatly impact Tesla stock price um, because uh, if you haven't seen, Tesla and Netflix are working together now. Their cars are on Netflix sh shows. So, um, it also is, uh, didn't have the guidance, wasn't that great. But I'm going to stay positive. I uh, So, we closed at 220 today. We could test, we, we could see ourselves retesting. Uh, 210 to 215 um we're coming to a major resistance and we've hit it uh at least one time uh is 226 and that we've hit or we came close to like today um and then we you know got pushed away and so uh i'm i'm hoping that tomorrow um tesla might be able to in the morning, blast through that 226, and if it can push through 226, then we could see Tesla going to 230. And if it gets to 230, we could see Tesla closing at 237. Now that's the positive side of what could happen tomorrow. On the negative side, if something happens and Tesla were to go down, um, We could see Tesla going to test uh, 215, and then uh, 210, 211, 210, or 206, or 205. So, um, you know, uh, we we have a lot of um, good good things going on right now. Uh, Tesla's holding strong and its momentum is moving in a bullish direction and buyers are stepping in um so you know if, if you haven't seen anything i would recommend watching the tesla ai uh day there uh, they lay out basically the whole format and, and what different routes you can choose if to invest and hold it's basically like in my opinion um, you pick a price you want to choose at, and then you just buy at that level and not above it. Because the sooner you start buying above the level that you you put a lot of money into, because that's where you want to put it. Um, that's not this is not a suggestion. I'm just hypothetically saying this. Um, it locks you in there, but um, It's, it's a nice thing to get off of your back and not have to think about. That's one thing for sure. Um, and um, 
I, we could see Tesla pushing up and testing, uh, you know, close to 250, maybe for the Q quarter three earnings. Um, but right after the earnings happens, we could see some downsideness, or we could see some physics work and go the opposite direction. Um, but uh, we have to break through 226 first. That's the biggest thing. So uh, if you like this video and you thought it was helpful, push a like button. If you like these videos, sub please subscribe to Tuck Notes. It really helps out the channel. Um, uh, the other last thing, if you're still watching this, I hope you are. I would highly recommend, I haven't seen it yet, but my, friend, my best friend recommended to watch uh, the new BB series documentary with Elon Musk. He said it was just off the hook. And so um, I'm gonna watch that. It came out two days ago. Uh, I saw it on Twitter yesterday, but I didn't have the time to watch it. So I don't have the time either today, but tomorrow um, I'm gonna watch it and listen. Uh, and I highly suggest uh, if you watch it uh, and you're into this kind of stuff to have a notebook like I do, like this. And if you hear something that rings a bell, or if he says something, because a lot of stuff he says, or numbers he says, or words he says, really translates back to reality. So, um, and he can do it very sly. So just, I don't know, enjoy the movie, but stay attentive to detail, as I will too, and let you know how it goes. All right. Peace out.